My name is Markus Meyer and I'm Product Marketing Manager in the Microcontroller Group with ST Microelectronics. Today I want to give you an introduction and a short tutorial about our ST MCU Finder. This is a new tool available for iOS, Android and Windows and allows you to quickly select your microcontroller based on your requirements. So today I'm going to show you the iOS version on an iPad and the first step is to find it on the App Store. So let's type in in the search ST MCU Finder and here we have it and now you will see I've already installed it on my uh, uh, iPad and so now we open it right away and so here you see the first screen the main screen uh, of this tool and the most important part of this tool is the MCU search click on it and we have different ways to search and I think the most helpful and most efficient way is to use the parametric search which will be helpful for a lot of the engineers so here you have different options you can select by core, by memory size, cost and so on. And you see right now we're starting out with uh, 800 different uh, uh, microcontrollers. And now let's select, for example, let's select the microcontroller with the Cortex uh, M4 core. Then you see we are reducing the selection to 328 and then let's uh, narrow it down even more. We want a part in a 100 uh, LQFP 100 package. Now we go to 75 uh, uh, possibilities and then okay what kind of flash memory do we want? So we have the options right now between 2 megabyte and 64. So let's just look for a device with uh, with uh, 384 and now we have 21 results and now we see the list of the results and we just pick one let's pick the STM32 L475 as an example and then we get an overview of the part so you see as first the memory size 512 uh, kilobyte of uh, flash memory 128 of RAM 100 pin QFP package and you see also the, the price uh, 429 for uh, 10k price and then let's just see some of the uh, the block diagram of the device so here's an overview of, it, of the key features of the device so let's go back some of the other features are now the technical documents you can see here you see all the application notes available for this device the data sheets the radar sheets and programming manual and now let's just see let's uh, download the data sheet and let's wait for a second to uh, download the data sheet. Okay, now you can open it uh, with uh, the Acrobat uh, reader. And here you can see uh, you quickly downloaded and you quickly selected your part and you can easily look at the data sheet if this device uh, has all the features you need. You can go to the uh, electrical characteristics so now let's go back so some of the other options you have uh, once you selected the part are look at the block diagram look at the technical documents and then also very important is look at the different uh, evaluation tools so here you see an overview of the different boards we have the nuclear our nuclear boards our development boards and you can also go here and you see an overview also you see the price of the tool the key features and you can also download the documents for the specific device. Then let's go back to the main menu. Then some, some other options to search for a part is, so we, we did a search for parameter, uh, parametric search, but you can also directly type in, if you are familiar with our microcontroller family, you can directly type in the beginning of a part number. And then as you type in, it narrows it down uh, to the specific device uh, you're looking for. And you see here the number of devices is uh, being reduced and now the same way now you get to the same selection page and can select your device. So this was a quick overview about how to select your specific device. Then some of the other features of the STMCU finder. So you always get the latest STMCU news. You see press releases, uh, announcement from partners uh, and so on. So here you see an overview about the different news we had recently on the STM32 microcontroller family. Then you can also directly go here to evaluation tools and can select the evaluation tool by family here directly. 
It's another way to get there. And then also very important is the community feature. So ST has a Facebook, Twitter feed, but then we also have our YouTube channel and we have our ST community where uh, other engineers are exchanging their uh, problems with each other. And then certainly also ST has its own part on the ARM community. Okay, so this was a quick overview of the STMCU Finder. As I mentioned, it's easy to find in the uh, Google Play Store, the iOS Store, or the Windows Store. Just search for STMCU Finder. Thank you. Bye-bye.